Oh my God, it just never freaking ends, does it? It's a Friday morning, everybody. The Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. Haters need to get a grip on reality. Oh my God, it's ridiculous. If you're a wrestling fan and you have something bad to say about the WWE, you get hate, you're wrong, you're on drugs, you're this, you're that. Haters get a grip. Wrestling. You get it, the word wrestling? Look it up. Wrestling. It includes amateur wrestling, um, professional wrestling. Professional wrestling is a group of wrestling promotions, people that wrestle for a living to entertain. It's not just the WWE. It is there for all the other promotions like Ring of Honor, Pro Wrestling Guerrilla, TNA Impact Wrestling. We had OVW Wrestling. We can go on and list the names of many, many wrestling promotions. There's many indie promotions out there, very small circuits um, of wrestling. But if you badmouth the WWE, you've got your haters and your trolls on your ass. And it's like WWE is the only thing that matters in this world. I mean, come on. Let's face it. This is, this is a funny uh, uh, scenario because back in the days when WCW was kicking the WWF's ass in ratings, everybody was still saying WCW sucked. They're this, they're that. Now, the WWE owns the library of all the pay-per-views and the, and the WCW shows, and all these two-faced trollers and haters are saying, oh, yeah, the WWE Network's got WCW, Monday Night Wars on Monday Night. we gotta got to check it out. Hypocrite or what? I mean, really, you hated WCW back in the day when they were around. And now that the footage is owned by the WWE, it's great to watch. What do you think? So anyway, um, I watched a video by Josh uh, from Inside Wrestling Truth. He, he did a video about haters and whatnot. And um, he talks about, you know, people thumbing down his videos, uh, leaving a lot of negative comments if you're not saying anything good about the WWE. And I totally agree with him 100%. Uh, I know a couple people here on YouTube and on Facebook that I am friends with that anytime I talk something good about TNA, I get a thumbs down. Um, I always get the WWE is better than TNA thing. I'm not saying who's better than who. I'm just talking about wrestling in general, giving an opinion, which is what I do here on YouTube. And you haters out there, make it, you actually help us out. Because in contemplating retiring from YouTube, from the wrestling community, you guys just add fuel to the fire and just make me want to stay all that much more. Because you guys have put up all these negative, stupid-ass comments, you know, really aren't intelligent enough to find your way into the fucking bathroom in your own home. It's as simple as that. I had a guy saying, what are you, on crack? Because I was talking about the differences between WWE and TNA, that the WWE is going around in a vicious circle because they have the same guys on a weekly basis, in matches all the time, and I said TNA at least comes up with something different. Well, TNA does come up with something different. Every week, you don't know who's going to wrestle who on TNA unless you read spoilers. The WWE, all week long, same matches. The following week, pretty much the same matches. They haven't changed up. But, oh, I'm on crack. And I resent that remark just for the simple fact that I had a lot of friends um, in recent years who passed away 
you know, due to drugs. And uh, so I, I don't take that comment very lightly. And I'm sure the person didn't mean it, you know, in that sense. I just think it was just, you know, an on the spot reaction of a remark. So I, you know, I'm not, you know, um, you know, holding anything against this person because he comments on my videos all the time. And a lot of times he critiques my videos um, probably on a 50-50 positive negative basis. But that's, that's okay because that's why we put videos out there to get a reaction from the people that watch our videos to know what's on their mind and, um, you know, get a feel for, you know, what they're looking for as well when we do our videos. But yeah, there are some haters out there that no matter what you do, if it's, if it's anything negative against the WWE, you're shit. You get a thumbs down, you get a negative comment. And for that matter too, if you're not rooting for the same sports team as some of these people are, then your team automatically sucks. I'm a Giant fan. I'm a Red Sox fan. I'm a Celtic fan. I'm a Boston Bruin fan, formerly a, a Whaler fan since they moved out of New England. You know, I don't get to see much of the Hurricanes. So, you know, I try to follow the Bruins. And, uh, you know, and a lot of people say, well, how come you're all these Boston fans, but you like the New York Giants? I like the Giants because I, as a fan, grew up um, liking the teams that actually were the underdogs. When I was growing up, the Red Sox were horrible until 1967. And I followed them and followed them and followed them. And I saw them lose in the World Series in 67. I saw them lose to the Reds in 1975. I saw the Bucky Dent home run in the playoff game against the Yankees in 78. I saw them lose the 86 World Series to the New York Mets, which totally destroyed me. And then finally, in 2004, they were down three games to none to the New York Yankees in the ALCS and made the first ever comeback, being down three games to none. They swept the Cardinals in the World Series, and everybody knows the rest of that. I've been a Celtic fan since the days of Bill Russell, um, JoJo White, all these guys, Tommy Heinsohn. I've never changed from a fan there. That's one team, though, that I became a fan of that was in their winning ways when I did become a fan. The New York Giants were losers when I started liking them. Um, I didn't really care for the Patriots because back when the Patriots were around, they were, they were in the AFL at the time. Um, I was an NFL guy, you know, so, you know, and it just goes on, but you know, if, you know, you don't like the same team as these haters do, no matter what you're going down, your team sucks. You don't know how many bad comments I've heard about the New York Giants. All right, you know, now they're facing the Cowboys in Dallas this weekend. Dallas looks good. You know, I can only be hopeful that the Giants can show up and play and maybe possibly squeak out a win. It was much like the Jets and the Patriots last night. It was a game that wasn't the greatest played game, but I have a, a soft spot for the Jets. I am not a Patriot fan. Um, I give credit where credit is due. Tom Brady is a great, great quarterback, you know, and... The Pats pulled it off, you know. A win is a win. But because I don't like the Patriots, I get hate because I'm a Giant fan. You know, it's much like give credit where credit's due, like with TNA Wrestling, when they put on a good show, I talk about it, I give my opinion, and if I think it's a good show, that's my opinion. But don't put... TNA down if you don't even watch the damn show. If you didn't see what went on, don't, don't make an opinion because your opinion don't mean shit. And after a while, everybody sees the same person putting down the same promotion. You know, a pattern shows up and everybody knows, well, this guy's just a TNA hater no matter what. 
you know, I'd watch Ring of Honor. Uh, Ring of Honor, you know, like their Global Wars, their War of the Worlds. They, they, they were, you know, superb pay-per-views. I mean, it is what it is. Wrestling is wrestling. It's not that one promotion is better than the other, because I try not to look at it that way. I look at it as I'm watching the WWE, I give my opinion. I'm watching TNA, I give my opinion. I'm watching Ring of Honor, I give my opinion. When Global Force comes out, I'll give my opinion. It's an opinion. It doesn't mean you're right, it doesn't mean you're wrong, and it doesn't mean that people need to make stupid, hateful, dumbass comments all the time. There's a couple people that on my channel have been so negative and I've gotten to the point where, you know, I don't need you. I really don't need you. And it's come to the point where you may just disappear sooner or later. But, you know, like Inside Wrestling Truth said, you know, he's not going nowhere. Um, for me, I've been so damn busy uh, with my work schedule. Things have been really, really tough. Um, I've been trying to put up the videos as often as I can and make them meaningful, like this video here. Make it meaningful. And, you know, I, three or four days ago, I was ready to say, well, I need I need at least a couple, couple weeks off. But um, watching some of the remarks and whatnot just give you that, that incentive to keep on moving on. And uh, I just will try to go on as long as I can. And again, I'm a wrestling fan. I'm not just a fan of TNA, Ring of Honor, or WWE. I'm a wrestling fan, and that's what this is all about. If you people can't stand the criticism of us wrestling fans talking about a certain promotion and what we thought went wrong with that promotion, or even, in fact, saying what was good about that promotion, if you can't stand it, don't watch the video. Simple as that, period. The thumbs up and thumbs down, I really could care less about. I really could. Because I don't get too many thumbs downs, and I know who the people are that are doing it. Uh, they'll do it on a video basis, just for the simple fact is, they think their teams are the very best and anybody I like is totally no good. So, I mean, there you have it in a nutshell on this Friday. Um, haters, keep on doing it, man. You give us more incentive, really. Um, like I messaged, um, I, I, I remarked to Josh on Inside Wrestling Truth, it's never going to change. Um, you just, you know, you suck it up. And you guys are the ones who look like idiots in the long run. Um, but, you know, when you make, when you make drug-related re stupid-ass remarks, um, it just shows your mentality, actually. Um, and maybe sometimes you say things without thinking. You know, that can be forgivable. But when you say it on a, a continual basis, then we know that you indeed have the problem and not the people making the video. And if you don't like it, get yourself on camera, put yourself in a video, and do it on a basis like all of us do, and see how easy it is for you to do so. But until you do so, limit your criticism and your stupid ass remarks because nobody cares. Nobody really cares. I'm here for the world of professional wrestling. Um, I talk about other sports every now and then, and I will continue to do so until I see fit to the point where I say I'm not doing it no longer. And it's with the support of the Andres, the Geminis, the Boston fans, the Inside Wrestling Truths, Challenge Talks, Andre Corbeil, everybody. Big Ray, everybody. It's with their support that keep you going. And there's a lot of other guys out there. I can name uh, Killer Demon 669, Shane Roy, um, 
Aaron Loves WWE, TNA, Mattitude Era 1. I mean, just the list goes on and on and on. You know, their supporters. Sean's View Entertainment. Hey, what can I tell you? Peace out, everybody. I've talked long enough. Have yourself a great Friday. We'll see you next time.